As you might expect with royalty, the new king, King Charles, and his wife Camilla call some of the most regal properties home. Whether they are in England, Scotland, or Wales, the couple has stunning mansions to choose from. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. With the recent news of the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, her firstborn son Charles will be the next in line to ascend the throne and assume his rightful place as England's next king. Up until this point in his life, Charles has held the title of the Prince of Wales and over the past few decades, he has shared an astounding property portfolio fit for a king with his second wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. This royal couple has mostly split their time between four gigantic properties in England, Scotland, and Wales. For instance, whenever these two are in London on official crown business, they spend their nights in an estate known as Clarence House. But more often than not, you'll find them decamping to the county of Gloucestershire, where Charles' longtime family home of Highgrove House resides. After spending the bulk of their year in England, this royal couple then travels to Burke Hall, their private residence and former home of Queen Elizabeth II's own mother, where they spend the majority of their summer walking in the beautiful Scottish countryside. Last but not least, Charles and Camilla also like to frequent a farmhouse once a year during their annual trip to Wales, a property composed almost entirely of totally refurbished materials. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Femus Entertainment. In this one, looking at the homes of King Charles and Camilla. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Located in central London, Clarence House is Charles and Camilla's official residence. That's not to say that they spend most of their time here, but when Charles has official crown business to take care of, this is exactly where he does it from. The property had previously been home to the Queen Mother, who lived here from 1953 until her death in 2002. But the history of this place stretches much farther back than that. In fact, Clarence House was first constructed in 1825 to the designs of John Nash for Prince William Henry, the then Duke of Clarence. Since then, the property has undergone a series of extensive renovations prior to Charles moving in, but once he did so after his grandmother's passing, he would keep many of the rooms exactly like she left them. That isn't to say that the home wasn't updated at least a little bit for the arrival of Charles. For instance, the color schemes were apparently adjusted in most of the rooms, while new textiles were introduced and several new art pieces from the family's royal collection were added to the premises as well. The principal rooms in this property are utilized utilized by the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall for receptions and entertaining while receiving official visitors from all across the globe who are stopping by London. But during those summer months when Charles and Camilla are away at Highgrove or vacationing in Scotland, visitors are allowed to experience a guided tour of the premises, visiting five rooms, including the Lancaster Room, which has served as the waiting room for visiting guests, as well as the morning room room, which was originally designed as the home's breakfast room. While you're there, you can also check out the library, which the Queen Mother utilized for intimate dinners, as well as the dining room, which was enhanced with gilding and ceiling decoration in the early 1900s. I'm sorry, but you're not going to be able to head upstairs to check out their private bedroom or poke your nose around in their medicine cabinets. Anyways, now that we've seen some of Charles and Camilla's London home, let's check out their favorite place to stay, Highgrove House. Originally built in the 18th century Highgrove House is located in Gloucestershire, England, which is roughly a two hour drive from London. The former owner of this residence, Maurice McMillan, sold the property to Charles in 1980 for a reported £865,000, just ahead of his marriage to Princess Diana. The story goes that when Charles first arrived here, Highgrove was made up of little more than a neglected kitchen, garden, some pasture land, and a few hollow oaks. But as Charles took Diana around his newly acquired 
153 acre estate, he asked her to organize the interior decoration because he admired her taste so much. According to sources, Diana felt like this was an improper suggestion considering they weren't yet engaged. But by the following year, they'd be married and settling into their new property. Since then, this three story, nine bedroom, six bathroom house has been spruced up and refurbished a series of times and even has a steel lined panic room installed to protect its royal residence. It's also the very home where Prince William and Prince Harry grew up and spent the vast majority of their childhoods, oftentimes playing with one another on the property's gardens and exterior grounds. Speaking of the gardens, the floral arrangements located here hold a special importance to Charles and they've been open for public visitation for over 25 years on select dates throughout every summer. All of the money being raised then goes to the Prince of Wales Charitable Foundation, which issues grants and support of community-based projects. So if you're ever in the area and want a first-hand taste of William and Harry's childhood, be sure to stop by and submerge yourself in the past. All right, next, let's head to Scotland to check out Charles and Camilla's summer home. Whenever they're checking out the Scottish Highlands, Charles and Camilla spend their time in the private residence of Burkhall, located on the royal family's Balmoral estate, which is where Queen Elizabeth II spent her final days. Much like with Clarence House, Burkhall was also one of the Queen Mother's former residents, and she apparently liked to describe this property as a little big house. Set on this 53,000 acre estate, Yes, you heard that right, that many acres. Burke Hall is an 18th century residence that has largely remained outside of the public eye until more recently when both Charles and Camilla used this home to self-isolate during the recent pandemic. It was during this time that we were offered a better look at this property than ever before with a video released in June of 2020 that showcased the home's grand entrance with an enormous blue shelter boasting four large podiums and four potted plants hanging from the wooden ceiling underneath. Meanwhile, the front door is painted green and rests above two gray concrete steps with a glass panel set just above inside a white frame. Charles also gave us a glimpse into his home office, which holds a bunch of family photos. Up until this past week, I would have said this property must hold some special memories for Charles as it's where he honeymooned with Camilla in 2005. But with this now becoming the very estate where his mother ended up spending her final days, will Charles really be looking forward to spending more time here over the coming years? Well, if he doesn't want a summer in Scotland anymore, then he and Camilla can also head on over to their newest property, a home that they built in Wales. Considering that Charles' longtime title has been the Prince of Wales, it shouldn't be all that surprising to learn that he has a Welsh residence of his very own. What might be a little more surprising is learning that he didn't actually own this place up until 2007, when he dropped a reported 1.2 million pounds on it. Charles likes to say that he spent 40 years searching for the perfect piece of property in Wales, and he finally found it here. Now he and Camilla retreat to this luxurious farmhouse once a year, where their property consists of three cottages, a grade two listed barn and a main house, all situated within 192 acres of countryside. Charles personally oversaw the building process for the main house to ensure that it was as sustainable as possible. That means Welsh materials, including lime plaster and slate, were reused and sourced nearby, while local workmen undertook all of the construction on this rustic beauty. This home apparently even has heating and hot water that comes from a wood chip boiler and includes a spot for rainwater storage as well. Inside the main reception room in the home boasts grand high ceilings with a wooden awning and a traditional fireplace. Meanwhile, the walls are decorated with printed tapestries and the floors are covered in regal rugs. In keeping with the farmhouse style, the upstairs landing boasts vaulted ceilings with wooden panels while the walls are yellow and the carpets are cream colored. One of the home's bedrooms has a double bed with a button back gray headboard as well as two cream wooden side tables with matching floral lamps and more walls painted in cream. In fact, this cream colored aesthetic extends all the way 
way to the ensuite bathroom walls and tiles, which pop alongside that all white bathtub. Of course, much like with every other property they own, these grounds also have impressive gardens, where Charles and Camilla grow various types of flowers and their own vegetables. The question now becomes, with Charles' ascension to the throne, will he and Camilla be spending much time at any one of these properties from this point on? Or will there be too much work to do in Buckingham Palace? My guess is for the next few weeks, if not months, Charles will be seeing a lot more of the inside of the palace than ever before. But I'm sure when things finally settle down, he and his wife will be able to retire to any one of these captivating properties. Well, that's gonna bring this house tour to a close. Let me know what you thought of King Charles and Camilla's homes down in the comments. And be sure to check out our recent videos on the rest of the royal family's homes. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in another video. Bye.